Hey, what's up? Six Tayo here. Today I'm going to be showing you T-Mobile's newly released 4G LTE network. Uh, this is in Layton City, Utah, and it's been roughly over an hour since it actually popped up on my iPhone. Might have actually popped up sooner than that because uh, I haven't touched my iPhone for a little bit before I actually noticed it. But I took it out of my pocket, looked at it, and I noticed it was on LTE. And I was just like, whoa, shit, it's cool. But my LTE network was not working, and I actually just barely found out about 10 minutes ago. The reason was right when the uh, iPhone 5 was released from T-Mobile, Apple released a little carrier update for unlocked T-Mobile iPhone users, and it put a little carrier profile right in here. Um, I removed that, and my LTE network was working just fine afterwards. So, fuck you, Apple. Fuck you right in the ass. Anyway, other than that, <laughs> um, and I only noticed that all oh, LTE was working just fine because on this iPhone 5, it worked perfectly fine. It's just another 64 gig that I just have right here, which that was kind of fortunate that I do. So yeah. But anyway, um, unlike uh, the uh, T-Mobile model, which supports AWS 4G or like my HTC One. Uh, that supports 1700 and 2100, uh, which is the bands that T-Mobile uses for their 4G network, which this iPhone, or you know, this iPhone over here, does not. Um, it uses the 1900 MHz frequency for 4G, which uh, T-Mobile's newly reframed towers in a, you know, many different areas now support, uh, but it's not as fast as regular you know, T-Mobile's 4G or whatever. But um, yeah, but with LTE, because this does support AWS LTE, which is bands uh, 17 and 4, 400 and 1700, uh, that's the same ones that AT&T uses for their LTE network, so that's why you know, LTE works a lot better than 1900. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that this is not a uh, T-Mobile model by showing you my last four digits of my serial number. So F38W. Uh, Foxtrot 38 uh, whiskey, I guess, for some of you. But um, yeah, so this is an AT&T one. Let's go and do a test, and let's go ahead and compare it to AWS 4G, which, by the way, is not actually that great in Layton for some reason. It used to be around like 18 to 23 megabits per second average, and then something happened with their towers that you know just fucked that all right up. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. So about four or something looks like. I think about seven was going up on eight, but yeah, about seven megabits per second. The upload speed, however, I have noticed is heavily increased uh, by about double. Um, I say I think it almost went up to seven megabits per second. Sometimes it's gone over that, but it went back down. But yeah, six megabits per second upload is awesome. So yeah, so AWS is kind of sucking right now, uh, probably because T-Mobile is working on their LTE towers, and it's kind of messing that up. So a heavy decrease on data speed for AWS in Layton. Actually, in all of Utah, I've noticed it all over Utah that I've been getting really low speeds. So now I'm getting about to yeah, I went over ten. Nine point ninety seven, not too bad. That is average 4G speed. Uh, almost over 7. Uh, oh well. And the HTC one's kind of sucking right now. And one more test. Let's call it good. I notice this is on only two bars of LTE. So when I'm when I figure out where the LTE towers actually are, which my Signal 2 app I think has been a little bit messed up by the LTE network because I don't think it's recognizing too well. I'll go ahead and show you that in a minute too. Six point ninety nine. Really? No, couldn't go just like point zero one more. Really? Okie dokie, let's just finish that up, put that off to the side, and let's show you what connect what tower I'm connected to. Signal two, here we go. Let's see if this fixes itself yet. 
No, it has not. Because if I zoom in all the way, apparently there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different towers right around you know, my apartment. So, yeah, not exactly accurate there. But whatever tower I'm actually connected to, I'm um, at 108, it looks like. Which seems a bit normal for you know, two bars. But, um, let's see. Yeah, if I zoom all the way out, apparently there's, I'm connected to the towers miles and miles away. So, yeah, my signal 2 app is kind of fucked up right now. So, that's no help. But, yeah, that is a T Mobile LT on the AT&T factory unlocked iPhone 5 in Layton City, Utah. If this video helps you out at all, or, you know, or you're having any issues whatsoever, comment or subscribe in the box below. And uh, follow me on Twitter at 6 Zero. And again, if you have any questions, just ask. I'm more than happy to help any of you out. Um, so, yeah. Okay, see ya.